Okay, family, how are you? Good evening to you. I want to do two readings on uh, how to put it. How, how are we going to put this now? It, this is such a confusing situation. Okay. You know, I did a reading about Graceland and Priscilla Presley possibly, you know, looking out for prospective investors or buyers with the intention to sell Graceland. Well, if she sells Graceland, her son Navarone having one ninth interest in Graceland one ninth of millions is quite a bit of money okay so it's a win-win either uses that one ninth as income or if graceland is sold then he's going to get a huge slice of cake now, Priscilla has gone to great lengths to contact her daughter Lisa Marie in the spirit to ask Lisa to ask her daddy if Priscilla Presley can have a spot next to him in the graveyard at Graceland. The same patch of land where Miss Gladys and Vernon is buried. Priscilla feel that she have a right to be there. Now she didn't mention any, there's, there'd been no argument in regards to she wanting to be buried near her daughter. Oh no, 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 no. No. She want to be buried next to Elvis. Now Priscilla talks all kinds of funky stuff about Uncle Elvis saying that he approached her and was troubling her when she was underage and he had strange sexual uh, behaviours towards her anyway and this, that and the other. She really did, you know, she really did make him look considerably bad. Now come to find out she wants a spot next to him at one of the world's most, you know, Graceland. To me, Graceland is coming like the pyramids. Because there is so much mystery there. There is so much intrigue there. There, it, It's a phenomenon. It, it is it's something that vibrates by itself. It's one of the wonders of the world. You can see why Graceland is a jewel in the crown of Memphis and the jewel of the crown, jewel in the crown of Tennessee in terms of big business. Because I was thinking to myself today, how, what, you see, the question was, what does Navarone have to bring to the table? You see, the point of the matter is, okay, that's Priscilla's son and she wants to help him, okay. Now, how can he help Graceland? Because the objective is, make Graceland bigger than it already is. Speak to those people who are gonna invest more money into Graceland or who can help to expand the brand and take it some places where a whole bunch, where they can multiply the visitors who are coming there every year and therefore multiply the, the income and the residual income that Graceland being in the state of Tennessee and being in Memphis, stroke Whitehaven, all the money that that brings. And who can he sit down with at the city council and say to them, look, I've got the idea to do this. I'm going to speak with this investor, that investor. I've got people interested over here. Uh, and, uh, the, the, you know, even something like China. China, the Chinese tourist industry is big. Not mainland China, but in terms of Chinese-led tour groups who send tour buses full of, lots and lots of tour buses full of tourists to every point of interest in the world. Loch Ness, the pyramids, 
etc. Coaches full of Chinese people with their cameras and their money. And they spend and they spend and they spend. Oh, Elvis. Oh, and then the, you know, the, 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 the museum entry, the tickets for this, the ticket for that, the restaurants, the hotels, the guest houses, the flights, everything. The, the merchandise, the gifts, and this, that, and the other. There's so much money that this thing can generate. D uh, okay, let, let's let's see. Let's see. Because okay. maybe Navarone has a side to him that we ain't heard about. Okay? All right. His mother obviously knows him better than we do. What can Navarone do for Graceland? Ten of Wands here in reverse. This is a woman at the stake. This is his sister. His sister's energy here. This is Lisa Marie Presley. Burnt at the stake like Joan of Arc in the eyes of Navarone. Navarone has real beef with his sister's spirit because he feels like his sister is a martyr. This is real bad-minded energy. Joan of Arc was burned at the stake because of what she believed in and the crusade that she took crusades that she took part in and who she was and she was made into a martyr the card here is in the reverse the 10 of wands here is in the reverse because Navarone resents the fact that his sister who he did not talk to is now a martyr this is how he sees Graceland. This is not the energy of somebody who has Graceland's best wishes at heart. He is preoccupied with his sister and her energy. And the card is in the reverse. Resenting her. Thinking that even in death she gets more shine than him. Well, let me tell you something, Navarone. The reason why Lisa Marie Presley got more shine than you is because she's Elvis's daughter. And you have nothing to do with Elvis, not even your mum. Your mum created a position for herself after the man died, after your mum had divorced him and she had moved on with her life many times. Elvis had moved on with his life many times, even having a fiancé at the end of his life. Lisa Marie, everything was left to her and her father and her grandfather Vernon. When Elvis died, the money went to Lisa Marie. The lion's share of the money went to Lisa Marie. And your mum, as her mother, was the steward of it. She created a role within that for herself and placed herself in the role of a widow, even though she wasn't a widow. Then you come along. And so what you have here is your sister, who is the daughter of a king and who is an icon. Her father is an icon and she is an icon. So you cannot compare yourself to her and let her rest in peace. You didn't speak to her. You know what you could do, Navarro? Let me tell you what you could do before I even go to another card. Since you feel like this about her, you know what you could do? And this might be hard for you because your mum, she, she tells a lot of lies. She's a great storyteller. But hear, about, hear this. People would love to hear about things from your perspective, Navarone. Let, let's hear what you have to say. I, for one, would be interested in hearing about you. Because, you see, that's how you get respect. And that's how you stand in your own shit. When people see who you are. You see, what's, being, what's, what's happening is, and why there's a backlash, is because you're being forced upon us. 
and we're hearing all kinds of crazy things. Well, well number one, you've been given one ninth a percentage in something that is not of your heritage. It's not of your heritage. Spiritually, this is a no-no. It's a no-no. It'd be different if you were grafting hard and working and really doing the damn thing in regards to Elvis and Graceland. Not to say that you and your sister uh, couldn't have disagreements. Yeah, siblings have disagreements. They do. They mash up and have bad disagreements and don't talk to each other for, for years and years and years. But guess what? If you really are part of the family, if you really are part of the brand, then make yourself useful. Let there be some evidence of Navarone working for, on behalf of Graceland and Navarone getting involved in Graceland business and so on, so that we can see that you've been active, so that that one ninth percentage don't look so bad in our in our we don't want for somebody to be forced upon us and then we're hearing that your mum and uh, so that means you're gonna have a spot you see this is it's like sacred ground there's a song we are standing on holy ground and I know that there are angels all around let us praise Jesus now because we are standing in his presence on holy ground so it's not that you're not important Navarone it's not that you don't deserve love. It's not that you don't deserve respect and recognition. But stand in your own shit. Who are you? Your mother has wrapped you up in this package and thrown you to us. And we've peeled back the package because we don't accept the wrapper that's on you. Because you, you, you are Navarone. You are not Elvis's son. We want to see you. We want to see your talents. We want to see what you're made of. We want to be proud of you too. Your mom's shysty, but we can't be proud of you. We can be. If you get involved in stuff, the stuff that your mom is putting you forward for. Which big meetings are you having with investors and so on and so forth? What are you doing? How are you repping Elvis? Because we ain't seen it. <laughs> All we've seen is take, 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 take. Okay, and you talked about being in the family business. Okay, okay, being in the family business. How many times have you performed at Graceland? How many times have you performed in Memphis, Tennessee? You, you're, the crowd of people that follow you and buy tickets to your shows and things like that. Are you, do you do any Elvis covers? Would it interest you to do that type of thing? People buy the tickets for it. This is Priscilla's son, Navarone, doing Elvis covers, Love Me Tender. We don't mind seeing that. Because let me tell you something about this life. People give you a chance. People give, And when I say people, I'm talking about mega fans. Die hard Elvis fans. They'll give you a chance, Navarone. We're all human at the end of the day. But ain't nobody going to force force nobody on, on around here. No. Because you're going to be met with resistance. And that's real talk. So you, you the best thing you can do is try and cultivate. What you have to do is kind of, you see, your mama's baby boyed you. Your mama's baby boyed you. She's babied you. All right? So, I don't know how, how you can do this, but you see, you can have an honest conversation with spirit. You can go to Lisa's spirit now because, you see, her in the spirit would have a little bit more leeway if you go to her directly and you say, you know, you light a candle for her and you say, guess what, Lisa, I want to talk to you, I want to have a conversation with you. I'm sorry, 
and this is the way I felt and this is the why I felt this is why I felt this way have an on, uh, honest conversation with spirit and see the signs that Lisa sends you to acknowledge what you're sending what you're saying to her it's all energy it's all thriving energy I want to pull a few more cards in case <laughs> yeah. okay go on. Queen of Cups here in reverse. It's going to take time. This is Lisa. She not ready to talk to you, Navarone. I don't know what went on between the two of you, but your sister's spirit is, she don't want to talk to you. Sorry. I didn't want to, I, I didn't know this card was going to come out like this in the reverse, Queen of Cups. But I have to tell you. Okay, so if you try and contact her spirit, you're going to just antagonize her and it's not going to be great for you. Give it some time. It must have been really, really bad. But again, your mum has a part in this. And the barefacedness of it, the, the barefaced, the boldness of it is really what is really irking people. To be quite honest with you. Like, you, Navarone, you are so disadvantaged because of stuff that you... And we're not falling for the little picture with Riley and the girls... All y'all look beautiful in the picture. All including Priscilla look beautiful in the picture. But we're not falling for the okie doke. That's straight boulder dash. Okie doke. We ain't falling for it. No time at all. We've done the readings behind this. We know the energies. We ain't falling for a picture. We ain't falling for it. Some of, some of the subscribers, my beautiful subscribers, even called out the energy and said, but hold on a second, Riley don't even look happy in this picture. Riley don't even, she looked resigned. She looked pissed off. Fuck this shit. Excuse the language. Sorry to cuss. Uh, let's just take this photo because obviously it's pleasing the old girl. This is what she wants. She didn't get the photo up at the graduation, at the girls' graduation, for them to enter high school. The middle school graduation, right? She didn't get what she wanted. She walked off from the funeral empty-handed, vexed and pissed off that Riley wasn't there to take the photo. And her representative said it didn't send the right message that Riley wasn't there. I did the reading and I know exactly why Riley wasn't there and chose to make to be somewhere else. Because feelings and emotions were raw. Riley's husband got involved and said, uh, no ma'am. <coughs> no ma'am, you ain't going. This one you're going to sit out. It's too soon. Because Riley would have exploded and pop off on the old girl. Pop right off. Her mum is Memphis. Riley would have popped off. Because how much, how much more, how much can Riley take, really? Riley got the patience of a saint, but the, the, everybody got a boiling point. Every, everybody got a point. This is coming like a cross that Riley has to bear. Let me just pull another card anyway, because all I do is talk, just to remind you of the cards, okay? Next card. Look, Priscilla here, Queen of Swords in reverse. We get a clarification card for why this. I mean, this is this is cold-hearted, cold-hearted, cold-blooded. This is Priscilla when she took the photo with Riley and the girls. This is her. Again, always using her intellect to strategize. She got the mind of a hustler so much so that she can't step out of the, the mind of a grasping hustler. Remember Uncle Elvis told us that she used to put money in her scarf, put money under her wigs and things like that. Always trying to look out for herself. Nothing has changed. She took the photo with her grandchildren. Listen, if she loved her grandchildren like that, when their mum passed away, January, February, 
Why we didn't see no picture on, 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 look, Priscilla wrote a whole essay. Tina Turner died the other day. Priscilla wrote a whole essay. <coughs> Priscilla could have said a million and one things at Lisa Marie's funeral. She did not. Instead, she just read something from one of the twins. Priscilla could have had photo after photo, hugging Riley, hugging the girls, consoling them. She's supposed to be the one to console them when their mum passed away. But no, she wouldn't, and she couldn't because Lisa Marie wasn't even talking to her. Lisa Marie was not talking to her at the time that she died. Disclaimer, I did the readings and Priscilla and Lisa Marie had some kind of ruckus or altercation before Lisa Marie died. And there was a scroll of paper in Lisa Marie's hand. Disclaimer, for entertainment purposes only. <coughs> she wait till Danny take the girls to school and she come there with her crony. And one of y'all asked me to ask Benjamin, rest in peace, Benjamin. One of y'all said, ask Benjamin if Priscilla is the one that forced him to sign the document, to sign the amendment to the will. Remember, there was no planning in it. Benjamin didn't plan to do it, but it was all of a sudden something that, uh, an opportunity that presented itself. And he did it very, very quickly. Because remember I said to you, and, and this was the, there was this thing about the way Benjamin saw his mom. Not making the right decisions and so on, but maybe it was somebody else that said, look, your mom ain't thinking right. Sign this on her behalf. Sign, put your mom's signature there. We know you know how to do your mum's signature. Put it there on the paperwork. Remember, there was a meeting going on and Benjamin was there, Lisa was there, somebody else was there. Remember, was that somebody else, Priscilla? Disclaimer. <coughs> that's, what, that's what one of the subbies said yesterday. I repeat that question again. The, subby, the beautiful subby said, ask Benjamin if Grandma Priscilla was the one who made him put his mum's signature on that paper. Made him do his mum's signature. I fed up. I don't know what to say now. I'm just so fed up. And then to say to see crazy people talking about oh the twins look Brazilian. Listen, I see the agenda, you know. The twins are not Brazilian, they're white. And it's okay that they're white. There are some people, there's a little a renegade group of I don't know if they're I don't know who they are. There's a little group of Priscilla fans that I see what y'all are up to. Leave them children. Lisa Marie Presley is white. Michael Lockwood is white. The girls are white. They are not Brazilian. Cut the bullshit. Stop that shit. I already see the agenda. They're white and they're fine. Leave them alone. I see the agenda, the bullshit agenda. Yeah? You're getting excited because the, the, the Brazilian boy, the half Brazilian boy, get a little bit of Elvis's money. It still ain't got nothing to do with you lot. Cool yourself down. This ain't about ya. Okay? This is about scheming dishonest Priscilla. Not allowing her boy to really shine and stand in his own shit so that we can give us a chance to respect him now. Give us a chance, let us respect him. Let him show us what he can do. He got, he got uh, issues in regards to narcotics. There's a lot of people that got issues. Lisa Marie also had issues as well. Their life hasn't their lives haven't been easy. <clears throat> but
But Priscilla, you the common denominator right there. You the common denominator. Is there the lies and fantasy that you created that they find hard to cope with? Where you want to mold them and manipulate them into what into whatever you think they should be. <coughs> Without giving them a chance to really shine and show, and show who they are. I'm already pissed off anyway. A lot of people pissed off about this. Anywho, this has been the reading. It's only been three cards. <laughs> this has been the reading on the energies between Navarone and his sister. And, and basically, just we were just trying to find out what guy, hello, guy, what can what 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 have you done? What have you done for Graceland? What have you done for it lately? Da, 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 ooh, 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 yeah. You asked for a lot. You've received a lot. And, and what what what's the out? What what are you doing? <laughs> As this British comedian would say, I forget what his name. I think it's Ken Dodd. He said, "Not a lot." <laughs> Not a lot. Ah, oh, boy. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. www.celestialtarotreadings.com. Me, Auntie Sam, super, super, super busy, but um, I had to do this reading. It will be up in a few hours. Ashe, bless, chukudalo. Inshallah, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, folk salad, Annie. Gator got your granny. <laughs> Everybody said it was a shame. Priscilla don't want to work on no chain gang. <laughs> Ashe, bless. <laughs>